Ever had one of those conversations that felt less like a chat and more like a battleground? Yeah, me too. Today, let's dive into why conversations turn into conflicts and how we can navigate them without losing our cool. Picture this. You're discussing something important with a friend. Suddenly, the tone shifts. The volume goes up. You find yourself interrupting them. They interrupt you. And before you know it, you're both not just sharing opinions. You're launching verbal missiles at each other. Why does this happen? Often, it's because we're not really listening to understand. We're, we're listening to respond. When we're so focused on what we're going to say next, we miss what's actually being said. This leads to misunderstandings, assumptions, and yes, conflict. Now, imagine instead you took a breath. Literally, just took a moment to breathe before responding. This small space can be powerful. It gives you a moment to process what's been said and actually helps in crafting a more thoughtful, less reactive response. Another strategy, reflect back what you've heard. This doesn't just show you're paying attention. It also provides a chance to correct any misunderstandings right on the spot. So what I'm hearing is, is a simple way to start. You'd be surprised how often conflicts are just cases of miscommunication. And remember, it's okay to agree to disagree. Not every conversation has to end with a winner and a loser. Sometimes accepting different viewpoints can save a relationship and your sanity. So next time you find yourself in a heated debate, take that pause, reflect, and respect the difference. Conversations don't have to be battles. They can be bridges, bridges that help us understand each other better and connect on a deeper level. That's it for today. Next time you catch yourself in a conflict, remember, the battlefield is optional.